I found a vlog comparing the size of Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas against famous landmarks around the world. We're gonna take a look at a couple of those. Plus, the port of Nassau is in the news once again for shattering even more records as demand for crews surges beyond levels ever dreamt of. Oh, and MSC's got some bad news for their luxury brand, Explorer Journeys. Let's roll the intro. Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships channel. I'm your Captain Corey. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. I hope you had a wonderful Independence Day and all of your fingers are still attached. Mr. Hand over there still has all of his. And I say that because take a look at this fireworks situation I was dealing with last night. This is what happens when you get the boys together. Now let's get on into the cruise news. Professional cruiser and vlog operator Tanner Kalise over at cruisely.com has put together a really cool article comparing the absolute monstrosity that is Icon of the Seas next to a bunch of famous landmarks around the world. Measuring in at nearly 1,200 feet long, Icon of the Seas, it's going to give many of the landmarks you know and love around the world a run for their money in sheer size. And Tanner has put together some really cool visuals to go along with this list. I'm only gonna show one or two because while it's Tanner's article, it's only fair to him that you look through some of his content, which means this article is linked in the description down below. But make sure you don't skip over to read it just yet because well, the YouTube algorithm will crush me if you leave right now. So in this article, Tanner compares the size of Icon of the Seas to things like JFK Airport, the White House, Fenway Park, Disney World, Central Park in New York City, all kinds of things. But perhaps some of my favorites are seeing Icon of the Seas parked in front of the Bellagio in Las Vegas, and of course, sitting between the pyramids over in Egypt. And I think this type of visualization is really pretty cool. I might actually put together a few of these myself and show them to you a little bit closer to launch for Icon of the Seas. But I think this gives you a really good idea of just how massive this ship actually is and just how much walking you're gonna be doing on board. Great work over there, Tanner. Make sure you all head over and support his work by reading the rest of the article. There's a link in the description down below. And while you're down there looking at some links, the best possible link you could ever click is in that description. It takes you to the Midships Amazon store. In there, you'll find all of the products I personally use every single time I cruise. It's the best way to support this channel and my work while getting something you're gonna love for your hard earned vacation dollars. Thank you so much for considering checking it out. Link below. All right, we have to keep the cruise news moving. We're going down to Nassau, Bahamas, a port that is beloved or beloved by many a cruiser mostly because every Caribbean cruise you've ever been on has gone to Nassau. But with that said, cruisers are loving Nassau as the cruise port continues to see wild growth, already surpassing their 2019 total passenger count with over 2.2 million visitors having been to Nassau in 2023 alone. That's crazy talk right there. That is a lot of people. Now, those of you who are in the know are already aware that Nassau just recently opened a $300 million cruise port redevelopment project. It opened about a month or so ago, and now the port can accommodate six cruise ships per day, including at least two Oasis class vessels. Now, the busiest day ever in Nassau, well, Fortunately or unfortunately, I saw it firsthand when I was there on February 27th. All told, there were six ships in port, bringing 28,554 guests and some five to 10,000 odd crew members to the port. All said, Nassau expects to see over 4 million total guests this year alone, absolutely shattering their previous records. We need to talk about a luxury cruise line. MSC has a brand new line called Explora Journeys. And unfortunately, there's some bad news for folks sailing on board the Explora One this month, as the ship has been delayed. The first sailing, the first several sailings are canceled due to supply chain issues, which is actually kind of shocking for MSC. And obviously that's due in part to the fact that they are owned by a massive mover of supplies around the world. 
in the Mediterranean Shipping Company. But as a sign of the times, when you cruise, you gotta bring a little bit of patience with you. Things are gonna change. It's a big world out there, folks. If you made it this far into today's episode, please make sure you get subscribed to the channel. While you're down there subscribing, you see that thumbs up button? Well, if you slam that right now, it's the only way to tell me you wish you could come on board Icon of the Seas with me when I set sail on her early next year. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. And until next time, we'll see ya on the midships. Claire just made a little entrance into the room here. She really doesn't love it when I record. I wish she did. Claire. No, I thought we'd have a cat sighting today. Hope you have an amazing day. We'll see you soon. The week's half over. Heck yeah.